Max. Hi, and I'm Denise. And welcome back to another edition of Urban Lifestyles. And I will tell you, it is hotter than hot. Yes, it's blazing hot. It's not even summertime yet, but there is a breeze. There is a breeze that is blowing more hot air. And it is, uh, what, in the 90s? And they say it could be up to 110 it, with the heat index. So it is crazy out here. We've got a great show. And some of the things we're going to be talking about is a segment that we did with lg and &E, one of our partners that we get with on a monthly basis. We also did a great piece with AARP and we visited a restaurant this downtown been open a little bit more than a month called Dasha Barbers and we've got a lot more so we'll be right back right after this. At lg and &E and KU we're always working hard to make your life a little easier because we know you've got your hands full. Our new mobile app gives you the power to check your account balance, review your payment history, and effortlessly pay your bill from anywhere while making it easier than ever to report and track power outages. Download the app today to get the convenience of lg and &E and KU at your fingertips. So with AARP is always giving us vital, essential information. And this is an interview that I had the pleasure to do with Pastor Wooley, and you want to take notes, so let's take a look. It's time again for another exciting segment with AARP Louisville. And I am delighted, especially because of the topic matter. Uh, I'm here to welcome um, AARP Kentucky has recently commissioned a new research project and it's with the Louisville Metro Center for Health Equity and it's focusing on health disparities for residents aged 50 plus in Louisville and that relates to race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, their age, and the socioeconomic status. So today I have the pleasure to have with us Pastor Alma Woolley, and she's an AARP volunteer spokesperson, excuse me, to share more about what this new report shows and how the AARP will be using the report to improve quality of life in the Louisville Metro. And first, let's just begin with Pastor Alma Wooley. Welcome and tell us about yourself a little bit and how you got started volunteering in the community and with AARP here in Louisville. Okay, thank you first of all for having me on the show today. Uh, as you know, um, I am a pastor here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, and I got involved with AARP as a volunteer um, because I retired back in 2014 and I wanted to do something uh, to help in the community. So uh, AARP was just doing so much in the community. So I wanted to be a part of something that was really uh, action and, and moving and getting things done. And so here I am. Well, I'm glad to have you on board to help in the community. So I'm gonna start off with this first question though. Uh, just tell us, why did the AARP Kentucky commission this particular study? Well, first of all, it is a part of AARP's mission to be a fierce uh, defender and wise friend uh, to strengthen the community uh, and advocate for what matters uh, for our families with a focus on health security, financial uh, resilience and uh, personal fulfillment. Mm -hmm. um, AARP, as we, as we look at what has happened within the last two years, we're, gonna, we're looking beyond COVID-19. Uh, and, and we want to make sure that we focus and build on uh, the, inequi the, uh, yeah, the inequities that are going on within our community and uh, making sure that these things do not continue. So with that being the platform of it, can you speak to how the study and what it showed in regards to the outcomes, uh, especially in, in when you look at race for this 50 plus segment? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, the study showed, uh, and when you read the report and it will be coming out soon, uh, you will see, um, who Louisville's 50 plus community is and what the health status uh, that we are experiencing here, uh, which um, root causes might contribute to the ability uh, to uh, for age successfulness. And that's why we're trying to get this out. The root cause uh, may also determine how well people um, 
are able to cope with uh, aging and the moment. And, and so we just want to make sure that the research that we're doing will benefit. And some of the things that um, came out of this was that uh, previous research from AARP and National have founded that at least 51% of those 50 plus have experienced at least one unmet need. And, and we're talking about lack of social support and uh, loneliness. We're talking about food insecurities, inadequate uh, transportation. We're talking about challenges with mobility uh, and of course, finances. That just gave me chills. So let me get to ask you this. So how will the AARP Kentucky use this data to inform action for change? I'm glad you asked that because we do have a plan, mm -hmm. AARP Kentucky and nationwide, uh, AARP nationwide. We are addressing uh, addressing the uh, symptomatic disparity uh, in healthcare, housing, and transportation um, throughout not only Louisville, not only Kentucky, but throughout our country because these things are happening all over our country. Um, so the strategy and the framework that AARP um, are using are number one, uh, that we all, personal, public, and private, have a responsibility to address the advance uh, and, and advance the issues of equity. We, we all have a part in this. Number two, uh, to develop a solution-oriented strategy. Communities, uh, our communities, they don't need to be told what the problem is. They know what the problems mm -hmm. are, or, and, and nor do they need uh, solutions thrust upon them from outsiders. Those closest to the problem must be involved in co-creating solutions. And again, AARP is really in every aspect of our lives. Yes. We'll take another break and back with more right after this. It was good. B96.5. Your man Nick Cannon is in the building and we taking over. We're going to be wilder every morning. About to have some fun, y'all. Let's go up. Press another move. Lock it in to the Nick Cannon Morning Show, 6 to 10 on B96. We got an opportunity to catch up with Dasha Barber, and we have been with them really since their inception when they had their first restaurant and then they opened to another location that was down in the LCC building. But now they have a primo location that is on East Main Street. So take a look at this piece. Well, you won't believe it, but we're back again with Dasha Barber's restaurant. Why? Because they've got not only a new location, but it is a fantastic location. And I've been privileged to have the grand tour. And Erin, welcome back and congratulations on this opportunity. And I know your better half is missing because she's busy in the kitchen. Yes, yes, she is in the kitchen and it's hard for her to pull away. So, yeah. So tell us how this new spot came about and tell us some of the great things that you have to offer. Um, what we have to offer is we would like to say it's downtown at its best, like um, the downtown life, like you literally looking out the window, you can see the skyscrapers. Um, you know how before we was on the back street, on the side street, <laughs> tucked away. We had to literally be on your mind. You have to Google to actually want us to come and visit us now. Um, as you can say, I always say this, we're on Main Street, literally, we're on Main Street. So it's, you know, you're driving by, you'll just see us. We're in the tourist district on the Bourbon Trail on Whiskey Row, and it's made all the difference with, um, uh, with, with the customers coming in and just having that exposure that be so needed. And as you said, you're on a very busy street, but this is definitely going to be a destination location. So tell us a little bit about the menu. Uh, the menu, uh, of course, we kept our staples the same. We kept the uh, sweet potatoes, we kept uh, the chicken and the, ch uh, the top chicken wing flavors. We kept the catfish, which is the number one seller three years in a row. Uh, we kept the four piece chicken. Um, and then we added some new inspired dishes that are they are rising to the top very fast. The rasta pasta, um, the, the salmon, uh, people are loving that. The shrimp and grits, people are loving that. And then we brought back the steak, which is, um, it, it's a, a bigger seller than I anticipated. Um, so people are loving those new addition and as well as our three salad options. People are loving those, that, the apple salad, it has uh, bourbon, 
Uh, it's got a ver bourbon infused um, sauce that she makes, a dressing. People love it. And I would imagine everything, because you're in the bourbon district, probably has some, <laughs> some hint of bourbon floating around. So, when, you know, when you're looking at this, as again, it's a lot more space, but you have multiple levels. So tell us what's happening on the, uh, other, some of the other levels. Um, on the bottom level, um, we are just now getting that going because uh, today marks one month officially being open. And so on the bottom level, we do have, uh, we're going to have our first comic down there, Hamburger. Um, it's going to be, I believe, it's going to be the first Saturday in July. Mm -hmm. It's going to be from 8. It starts, doors open at 7, and the show starts at 8. It's going to have a DJ after the comedy. I know most of the time when you go to a comedy show, it's over. We want to continue that at least for a couple of hours, let you have a good time on the bottom level. Um, so you'll be able to eat, go down, have a good time. Uh, we're not charging much the first time. We're just going to do $30 a person. Um, and then we're also, uh, we got set up for karaoke. That's going to be uh, rolling out soon. And then, of course, we do, um, we've been doing, uh, I guess you could say, like catering events down there. Uh, what, how, what they consist of is people, they'll, um, you know, they spend like 15, as long as you spend around $1,500 on the buffet, it it seats 60 people down there, so you can have 60 people. It comes with a bartender. You just pay your bar and your liquor and set up buffet style, and, and you can set up for a, a good time. And, you know, when you're in this club, it has not a, a Louisville feel, but this is really a kind of reminiscent of some of the clubs I've gone to in New York. So who is responsible for the decor? Um, the decor is... is um, Distinguished by design, her name is Dee Robinson, okay. and she's the one that, that uh, envisioned um, all the decor here. I don't have a decorative bone in my body, so <laughs> kudos to her and Dasha's on their collab. Yeah. All right, so if people want to find out more about Dasha Barbers and your hours of operation, how do they find that out? They'll go to dbsbistro.com, or you can just Google Dasha Barbers and just go to the website. And you'll be able to order online, and then you'll be able to make your reservations online. Um, and we we don't require reservations, but if you want a seat, we highly recommend you get reservations because you could be waiting a couple of hours for a seat, especially um, Saturday afternoons and Sundays. Sundays, most definitely, it seems like you have to have reservations. We don't require it, but it is booked up. Be smart and get a reservation. And of course, we'd be remiss if we weren't here at a restaurant and if we didn't go behind the scenes in the kitchen and see what's going on. I'm here with the chef himself, Rob Wesley. So tell us what you've got going on. Right here, I got a New York uh, strip uh, steak right here. I got with uh, I got red potatoes. Uh, I've got a garlic herb seasoning, and I season it also with my garlic uh, garlic pepper seasoning. And uh, they want this steak here. They want it uh, like a medium. So what I'm doing is I'm just uh, sauteing it off a little bit on both sides and I'm browning my potatoes. I'm going to do this for about about five minutes. Then I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to get the temperature up from the oven. I'm feeling it from, the, uh, from just the uh, uh, touch of it. And so that way we have, still have the good taste of the steak and everything's going to come out looking good. So where did you pick up your culinary skills from? Uh, just about 30 years of cooking. Uh, I started out with dishwasher, and I came up under a whole lot of different uh, chefs, and I just learned different cooking skills from different chefs and different cooking techniques. All right, and it looks great. All right, ready to drop the wing? All right, and now over here we've got somebody else who's dropping some of their well world famous Dasha's wings, and this is Larry. All right, Larry. So I know you can't tell us the secret ingredients. You probably have to kill us. I know that drill. So how long do they normally cook? They cook for about nine minutes. Okay. I couldn't necessarily tell you the secret ingredient because, yes, I would have to kill you, but they would kill me first. <laughs> you know, the food, first of all, before we even talk about the food, the location is just on point. And then basically their new location is so or urbane to me is so uh -huh. metropolitan and the two different levels and then the back so whatever your pleasure is around dining and socializing you want to go there yeah and in terms of great food uh, they have it all so it's a great place to go for a date night through the week on the weekend for brunch but uh, the food is excellent so support our black businesses we'll take a quick break and back with more right after this is more than just getting from one place to another. It's healthy, social, good for the environment, and anyone can do it. 
We at Middletown love cycling and really love helping others discover a new passion. Stop in today and let our friendly, knowledgeable staff help you get started. We cater to beginners as well as experienced cyclists. We're a local business that cares about our community because we are a part of the community. Come in today and get on a bicycle that fits your needs and improve your lifestyle. One station for R and B. Magic 101.3. We're live, local, and local. Magic 101.3, the home of Steve Harvey and Morning Show. You know, I know what's on everybody's mind. You know what that is? Uh, how to stay cool. How to stay cool. And when you think about staying cool, you always think about LG&E. And we got an opportunity to catch up with them about some summer cooling tips. So take a look at this. Hey, Natasha, how are you doing? And welcome back to uh, Urban Lifestyles. I'm doing great. Good to see you and glad to be here. Yeah, nice to be seen. Last month, you had the pleasure of being with Denise. This month, you're with me. And we're talking about something that's very important to everybody and something you really got to be careful about, and that is the heat. And I know lg and &E always has some great recommendations, some things that we can do to stay safe, and there's some great tips out there. So, as always, I'm leaning on you to give us some direction. Glad to be leaned on, Max, and you're exactly right. You know, what we know is that heating and cooling accounts for as much as 40% of our energy bills. So it does us all good to remember a few simple tips because if we can make a difference with our energy use, then we can see that reflected in our energy bills in terms of being able to better manage those. And who doesn't want that, right? So without further ado, let's get to some of the tips. And it's stuff that we've talked about before. This isn't anything novel. Like I said, these are all really simple tips. So one of the first tips I would offer is to make sure that your system is ready to operate in extreme heat. Already this season, we're not even to the official start of summer, or we're getting there rather, but um, we've seen temperatures that are extreme. And so you wanna make sure that your system can withstand those temperatures. So make sure it's checked out by a certified professional. And then you can do things like, pulling in my props now, make sure that you're changing your furnace filter. We always talk about this and it seems like such a simple tip, but it really is what keeps your system operating efficiently. Um, and then help your system out. Make sure you're uh, clearing away any furniture or anything that might be blocking the vents so that cool air can further circulate throughout your home. And when it comes to the temperature you have your home set at, if you have a programmable thermostat, you can go ahead and set that to make sure that you're thinking about the schedules of everybody in your home. I know everybody's working differently. Kids might be home from school. So think about when people are home, when they're not, and um, you know, program your thermostat so that you're not overly cooling an empty house uh, and you can make sure that you save a little bit of energy there and seal up those leaks that are around doors, windows, and ductwork uh, because that will help to make sure your system operates efficiently. So those are just a few. I have more. And, if you'd and like I know you one of the other things that you'd also talked about is some ways to give like your air conditioning unit a break by if you have ceiling fans or floor fans to use them to help circulate the air. Yeah, that's exactly right. When you rotate your ceiling fan counterclockwise, it helps to push that cool air throughout the home. So that helps the system to operate more efficiently. Even doing something like closing your blinds or your drapes can help because when the sun comes through those windows, right, it organically starts to heat your home. So being able to block that will help keep that cool air, um, you know, feeling cool inside your home. And then um, since you mentioned um, our systems again, even outside when, it, when you see um, some of the vegetation starting to to grow around your air conditioning unit. You wanna make sure that you clear that away so that um, those coils are free and you can spray those free of any dirt um, or, or plants that may be starting to creep up the side. Um, all of that helps when it comes to helping make sure your system operates efficiently. And then if I could pull in some more props. Okay. I'm using the oven. How about a crock pot, right? How about a walk? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little stir fry max. Um, but just making sure that you have ways that you can, you don't have to summon that large amount of energy that your oven uses. And not to mention it starts to heat up your home too, which makes your system have to run more constantly. So all of these, like I said, nothing novel, just really simple things that can help better manage energy use and then it gets reflected in your bill. And I think one other thing that we've discussed in the past was even uh, preparing meals outside. So firing up the grill or something of that nature can also help as well. 
That's right. When, when you tell me when you're going to get the propane and I'll head on over. But <laughs> yeah, that's right. Grilling out is another way that you can, you know, prepare your meals and not have to, again, when we turn on those large appliances and we start to draw more energy. And then a lot of them, when we're talking about cooking meals, then they start to heat up our homes, raising the temperature inside, making the system have to work harder to keep that cool temperature that we have our thermostat set at. So again, um, just a, one more thing we can do to make a difference. And, and one last thing, you know, we're always trying to find that ideal place to set the thermostat when the temperature gets like blazing hot like that. So I know there's no magic number, but if there were, I mean, is there any any advice that you can give to the consumer about, you know, thermostat setting in this type of weather? Yeah, you know, I would say that, um, you know, think about really think about right like where you're comfortable and then see if you can sacrifice a few degrees we know that every degree you can spare counts so um you know and making sure you know in the winter we say you can layer up um, so that you can keep that thermostat set a little bit um, lower and you don't have to raise the temperature too much. I would think about the opposite. You know, if you can, uh, you know, keep cool with what you're wearing around your home uh, and then see if you can spare a few degrees on your thermostat. I think mine currently is set around 74, um, right. but everything's different. I think my parents have their set at 79. So, you know, it's different for every home, just depending on, you know, the structure of your home and how your home heats and cools itself, maybe how efficient your home is. But um, just thinking about even sparing a few degrees from what you think would be um, your, your deal breaker. And when I know lg &E is always busy in terms of other things that are happening in and around the community, anything else we need to know about what's going on? You know, what I would say is that, you know, just know that we are always our, our top priority in addition to safety among our our top priorities is making sure that we're providing safe, reliable energy service for our customers. And even when we see extremes like those we've seen this season already, uh, we're working to do that. And part of the way we do that is by having efforts and processes in place that help our system to operate efficiently. So this includes things like our system hardening. That's what we call the things we do to switch out the wires, to make sure old wooden poles are replaced with steel poles, um, switching out and replacing substation equipment and circuit breakers, and then additionally managing vegetation and trees and making sure that those um, don't impact our lines. We know that by doing system hardening, we've been able to reduce the frequency and duration of customer outages by about 40% since 2011, excluding major events. So all of this makes a difference for helping uh, our service to customers operate reliably. We do system planning. We have what we call a, a spinning reserve, a reserve margin that helps uh, manage any kind of load that we might see based on uh, just the different factors that we can count on with regard to customer load and being able to accommodate those. So just know that we're working hard to maintain that safe, reliable service. And we know that customers are working hard to stay comfortable and we all want to manage our energy use and energy bills. So we get that, we're here to assist and we encourage customers to reach out to us through our automated phone system, through their My account, or um, even through our app uh, to see if there's some kind of payment arrangement they need to set up or even the budget payment plan, which can help them average out their bills over the course of the season, over the course of the year rather, to make sure that they're manageable and they don't rise with the spikes that we see in the temperatures. So as always, lg and &E, when we talk to Natasha and Liz, they always have some great information and just, you know, some little things that you can do around the house. Doesn't cost you any money, but you can really help you in terms of staying cool. Staying cool and keeping your pockets lined pretty coolly too, if that makes sense, because Everybody knows rising temperatures, air conditioning, rising costs. So lg and &E gave us a way to keep the cost down and keep ourselves cool. Right. So, you know, some little things you can do is grill out more and just, uh, what, run the fan from time to and time. And keep the blinds closed. And keep the blinds closed. We'll take a quick break and back with more right after this. What's good? B96.5. Your man, Nick Cannon, is in the building and we taking over. We're going to be wilder every morning. About to have some fun, y'all. Let's go up. Press Lock it in to the Nick Cannon Morning Show, 6 to 10 on B96. Nineteen is responsible for over 700,000 deaths in the U.S., and that number continues to rise. 9,000 of those deaths were in Kentucky, but we can make a difference by taking the shot. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for someone you love. We will never be able to get back to normal until we all do our part, so let's all get vaccinated. So wear your mask, wash your hands, roll up your sleeves, and take the shot. So please, take, take the, the shot. shot. Hey. 
Hi. It's time to crack an egg. Easy, any style egg works here. Or a smile. Well done, this looks great. Time to share a story. We have a great way to start our discussion. With old friends yeah, or new ones. When you're a caregiver. Time to breathe in. And up. Good job. Then let it all out. Rah! It's never been easier to connect, learn, and have fun. Cheers. So let's do it together. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you. We got an opportunity to catch up with our good friends at Magic 101.3. So Tia, tell us what's going on. Yes, that's that Magic 101.3 for you, friend. Greetings. My name is Tia Marie, and I am the evening host of The Quiet Storm on your favorite station for throwbacks and R&B. I want to remind you to continue to vibe out with us every day. We got Steve Harvey in the morning, my girl KJ in the midday, and Herlin in the afternoons. DJ Slick are the ones at twos at 12 noon and 5 p.m. Baby, we are the station making you vibe all day long. And not only do we have the hits that you love, friend but we also got tickets to the shows you want to go to as well as tickets to some family fun holiday world tickets are right here in the palm of our hands and we're trying to put it in your hands friend also on b96 our sister station we're hooking you up with holiday world tickets and funk fest tickets and more summer fun so make sure you continue to vibe out with us friends make sure you are friends with us on social media we have both instagram and facebook and you can always stream both of our stations on line at any time so listen the party does not have to stop when you get out the car just go online and vibe out with us friends peace love and light catch you next time well Tim, always thanks for that great information and you know it's summer it's hot so what are some of the things you're trying to do to stay cool just stay cool that just stay cool stay out of the heat stay cool yeah and if you can manage that you are a winner and most importantly if you haven't done it make sure that you take the shot Ooh, yes you know what I think? That's our show. Oh, that's our time. And we'll see you back here next time on Urban Lifestyles. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. It's time to crack an egg. Easy, any style egg works. Here. Or a smile. Well done, this looks great. Time to hey, share a story. We have a great way to start our discussion. With old friends yeah, or new ones. When you're a caregiver. Time to breathe in. And up. Good job. Then let it all out. Rah! It's never been easier to connect, learn, and have fun. <laughs> Cheers. So let's do it together. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you.